All right, ladies and gentlemen, just as there are laws of exponents that you've learned previously, there are also laws of logs. And the three biggies are the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule. And we're also going to uh, talk about the change of base formula, even though we've mentioned this on previous videos and we've used it in class a lot, but we're going to formalize it. Okay? So, the product rule basically says this. If I have any log function, so log base b, and I'm putting in a product, so my input is a product, my answer is going to be the log base b of x plus the log base b of y. And that is referred to as the product rule or product law of logs. When you're putting a product in to a log function, a sum comes out, the sum of the logs of the individual factors. Okay, the quotient rule says when you have a log function and you're putting in a quotient, you're going to get out a subtraction problem. It's the log base b of x minus the log base b of y. So when a product goes in, a sum comes out. When a quotient goes in, a difference comes out. The power rule is like what we've talked about in class. You know, you get the, the kitty out of the tree, okay, by using the ladder. But basically, the way the power rule goes is this. If the log, if I have the log base b of something raised to a power, so I'm putting in something to a power, then the power basically rides the slide down, consider this like a slide, rides the slide down, wee, and it ends up in front. So we end up with m times the log base b of x. Okay? And the last rule. The change of base formula basically says, basically, that was clever, if I have a log function whose base is already not 10 or e, and I want to use my calculator to do something with that log function to approximate it or to graph it, I apply the change of base formula. The log base b of x is equal to the natural log of x divided by the natural log of b, or the common log of x divided by the common log of b. So the change of base formula turns a log function into a division problem where either the natural log appears on both top and bottom or the log appears on both top and bottom. What used to be the base ends up with the log or natural log on the bottom and what used to be the input ends up as the natural log of x or the log of x on the top. So basically the base was lower, it's, it stays lower is a good way to think about it. Now these rules are going to be reinforced through the next set of videos. But right now, I've stated them for you and I want you to know them by name. The product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, and the change of base formula. And we're going to use them. That's how you learn them is through practice.